from workers to customers now. One business in downtown Las Vegas is taking a firmer stand. Want to enter? Show your vaccine card first. It's a story you'll see only on Fox 5. I run classes and workshops and I have drop in hours here. I'm just trying to promote another reason to get vaccinated. Whether you want to take in the art, take a class or listen to a lecture. Send me a photo of their vaccine card and I'll keep it on file or come in and show it to me. And they can choose to come in or not come in. If everybody in the space is vaccinated, even if the other people are less likely to get sick. Open Art Las Vegas in the Arts Factory downtown is the latest small business taking this stance to stop the spread. Bars and restaurants from L.A. to the Bay and New York have announced vaccine requirements for all customers. Broadway has done the same. Legal experts across the country say so far precedent already exists in a private business's favor, just like a no shirt, no shoes, no service sign. The hospitalizations are going up. The cases are going up. I have worked in the emergency rooms in this city. Daniela Etel Corban practiced as a doctor in obstetrics and gynecology for 23 years before launching her art gallery. She says her friends in medicine still grapple with surging cases and hospitalizations. Once she announced the policy on Instagram on Open Art Las Vegas and Pinecone Revolution handles. I also lost a bunch of followers. I did actually get a lot of private messages of people who are very happy that I did it. And I'm actually prepared to, to take a, a financial hit for it and trying to do what I think is right. And perhaps you can start a trend. You know, maybe somebody else was on the fence about it, but they start to see, oh, this person did it and that person did it. Atel Carban says kids that are not eligible to get a vaccine just yet are still welcome to come to class, but like everyone else, they still must have a mask.